We often take for granted the oxygen we breathe, produced by plants and algae in a process we learn about as kids. But what if I told you that scientists have discovered a mysterious form of oxygen production happening deep in the ocean's darkest depths? This isn't a sci-fi plot, it's a real phenomenon called dark oxygen. Dark oxygen means that's not like black. They found it below the surface of the ocean in complete darkness. So, the ocean is a vast, largely unexplored frontier, covering over 70% of our planet's surface. Yet we've only scratched the surface, exploring less than 5% of its depths. As we descend thousands of meters below, sunlight fades away, plunging the waters into perpetual darkness. This deep sea world where pressures are immense and temperatures are near freezing holds secrets that continue to baffle scientists. Among these secrets is a puzzling phenomenon discovered at around 4,000 meters below the surface, a place devoid of sunlight. Here, researchers found oxygen being produced, a discovery that defies our basic understanding of biology and chemistry. The story begins in 2013, when Andrew Sweetman and his team from the Scottish Association for Marine Science were exploring the Clarion Clapperton Zone, a remote area of the Pacific Ocean. This seabed, larger than India, is known for its unique geological features, including the presence of polymetallic nodules, rock-like clusters rich in valuable metals. During their mission, Sweetman's team deployed instruments to measure oxygen levels in the seabed. The expected result was straightforward. As marine organisms consume oxygen, levels should decrease. But the instrument showed the opposite oxygen levels were rising. It was as if the ocean floor itself was breathing, producing oxygen without any visible source of light. To understand why this is so baffling, we need to revisit the basics of oxygen production. On Earth, most oxygen is produced through photosynthesis, a process that requires sunlight. Plants, algae, and certain bacteria absorb sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into sugars, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This process is critical for life on our planet, filling our atmosphere with the oxygen we need to survive. In the deep ocean, however, sunlight doesn't penetrate. Beyond the photic zone, where light reaches, photosynthesis isn't possible. So, how could oxygen be produced in such a lightless environment? Initially, Sweetman and his colleagues suspected a malfunction in their equipment, but repeated experiments, including those in 2021 with new methods, confirmed the presence of this mysterious oxygen. It was clear that something extraordinary was happening 4,000 meters below the surface. The team focused on the polymetallic nodules found in the area. These nodules, formed over millions of years, are rich in metals like manganese, cobalt, and nickel. They speculated that these nodules might play a key role in producing oxygen in the deep sea. One leading theory is that these nodules could be functioning like a natural battery. Known as the geobattery hypothesis, this idea suggests that electrochemical reactions within the nodules could be splitting water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. This process, similar to electrolysis, could be occurring due to small electric currents generated by the metallic composition of the nodules. If true, this mechanism would mean that the deep ocean has a previously unknown method of generating oxygen, independent of sunlight and photosynthesis. This discovery challenges our understanding of deep sea ecosystems and the biochemical processes that sustain them. The implications of this discovery are profound. In a world where oxygen is a key indicator of life, finding a new source of oxygen production could revolutionize our understanding of where life can exist. It might even reshape our search for life on other planets. If similar processes can occur in extraterrestrial oceans, we may need to rethink our criteria for habitable environments. Furthermore, this finding raises questions about the deep sea mining industry. These polymetallic nodules are highly sought after for their metal content, critical for various technologies. However, if they play a vital role in producing oxygen and sustaining deep sea ecosystems, mining them could have unintended and potentially devastating consequences. The discovery of dark oxygen is still in its early stages, and many questions remain unanswered. What exactly triggers this oxygen production? How widespread is this phenomenon? Could it have played a role in Earth's past, perhaps even influencing the evolution of life in ways we have yet to understand? Scientists are now racing to study these processes in more detail. Further research could uncover new insights into the Earth's biogeochemical cycles and the potential for life in extreme environments. It's a reminder that our planet still holds many mysteries waiting to be uncovered. The discovery of dark oxygen is a testament to the wonders of our natural world. It challenges our understanding and opens up new possibilities for science and exploration. As we continue to explore the depths of our oceans, who knows what other secrets we might uncover. If this story has captured your imagination, thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the mysteries of the ocean. We'll see you in the next video as we continue to explore the unknown. Stay curious and keep exploring. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Let us know in the comments what you think about this incredible discovery. Could it change how we see our planet and the universe beyond?